I've been to lots of picket lines and just the level of support of people honking their horns, you know, is a measure of it. And the people passing by are also, I've supported, you know, I've had a number of people drop by who are like customers at the Rixie who come and see films here, who are like, what can we do about this? This makes us, you know, this is making people really angry. One guy suggested, you know, completely bizarrely, why don't we put the ticket prices up rather than pay, you know, a, a poor wage. Someone else was talking about, well, I'd like to, you know, withdraw my membership of the, of the cinema. So there's a lot of public support out there. It's been really, my experience has been really, you know, impressive. to incentivise and get employers paying the living wage in London and I, I'm really proud to be part of a party that established a national minimum wage but I think we all agree that that's not something you can actually live off no. in this city <laughs> in this city and we I mean we're, if we're elected next year we're gonna put in place tax incentives for, to persuade employers to pay the living wage but I honestly do think Britain has taken a big pay cut during the downturn and has been happy to do that on the basis that it will maintain jobs. I think now we've got growth back again. We're certainly seeing it in London. I think if employers can afford to pay the living wage, they should. And I'd like to think when I come and see the awesome films at this awesome venue, that the people that are looking after me while I'm here, that they're being paid a decent wage. Cool, thank you. Nice to speak to you guys. Yeah. We're not asking for that much. London living wage. I think we deserve it. Yeah. 